Hey, what is going on guys? Talison here. Today, as you can probably tell uh, in my voice, I'm not feeling too well. Um, haven't had the best of days, things kind of turning south with uh, family and all that, but really wanted to get a video out for you guys, and uh, yeah, put a lot of work into this video, so I hope you guys enjoy, and if you did find it helpful, please like and subscribe for more. Today, we're going to fully explain how the bounty hunter works in Destiny. First thing you guys need to know is that there is never any reason for you not to have any bounties active all the time. Before I learned what bounties actually meant in this game, I thought they were missions that you would do, like a uh, campaign mission. Boy, was I wrong. All they are is like the daily or weekly challenges that most of us should remember from Halo Reach. You get the bounty and complete the objective of the bounty to earn rewards such as experience and reputation. Just note guys that bounties are one of the most effective ways to rack up XP and get to max rank. However, if you already are max rank, which is level 20, don't think bounties have become obsolete or useless. Completing bounties still gives you XP on your character for modes of light and XP on your gun so they can reach their perks faster, both of which I will go into more detail in a separate videos. Now an example of these bounty objectives is the Broken Scholar Crucible Bounty, which is the defeat. 25 Warlocks in the Crucible. Once you've achieved any bounty objective such as this one, it will show in-game on your screen like so. All you need to do to claim your reward is get back to orbit, set your destination to the tower, and from there, go talk to the bounty hunter. There you just hit A or X, depending on what console you're on, on the bounty reward you've completed. The next thing we're going to briefly discuss is the two types of bounties, Vanguard Bounties and Crucible Bounties. Now I guess these are fairly self-explanatory. The Vanguard bounties seen here are tied to objectives to be completed within the Vanguard. An example, collecting 200 Olympus tiers on Mars. As for Crucible bounties, they are tied to objectives to be completed within the Crucible. An example, killing 25 hunters. The last thing we'll quickly go over before you go on your merry way to complete bounties and reach that max rank is the fact that you can be given bounty opportunities from the Postmaster. Go to her when she has an exclamation point above her head, and she may very well have a bounty card for you. Take that bounty card to the bounty hunter and get started on your objective. Due to all these perks the bounties give you for completing them, make sure you always have at least one or five bounties active at one time so that you have more chance of getting, of getting that XP, leveling up and leveling up your guns and all that, so that you can be a better Destiny player. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, if you did, leave the video a like, subscribe for more of the best Destiny and other games info and more, comment with your thoughts on bounties below, and until the next one, peace out guys, thanks for watching.